Hello friends, this video on chemical bonding part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 15. So let's start with the valence cell electron pair repulsion theory. The name sounds a little scary, but it's very easy to understand. If you just understand the name valence cell electron pair repulsion, that means repulsion by valence cell electron pair right so these valence cell electrons they ripple and that determines the shape of the molecule that's why this theory says so the reason why we study this theory is because we know that this in law we have studied the Lewis concept and the, with Lewis we are not able to find the exact shape of molecule right because Lewis doesn't help us find the exact shape of molecule so this theory was proposed to provide shapes of covalent molecules. Please note, this is for shapes of covalent molecules, only for covalent molecules. Right? These two terms are a little critical. This theory is for the shapes of covalent molecules. Proposed in 1940 and it is based on the repulsive interaction of electron pairs in the valence shell. So if you see the word three words, electron pairs in the valence shell and repulsive. And these, this is what would make this uh, theory, valence cell electrons. So we have some valence cell electron pairs and they ripple. So with that, we have this called valence cell electron pair repulsive theory. And it is pretty clear with this uh, balloons we have. So you have two balloons the balloons will try to uh, become a linear shape because they are, if they are only two balloons. If you have two balloons of the same size and try to bind it, it will take a linear shape. If I have three balloons, it will take a trigonal planar shape. You can try it in home also. If you put four balloons of the same size, it will try to take a tetrahedral shape. If you put five balloons, it will try to get the shape. The natural shape will be uh, the, the trigonal bipyramidal shape. If you have six balloons, it will try to take octahedral shape. That will be the natural shape of the six balloons of equal size. And same thing applies here in this valence cell electron pair theory. Instead of balloons, we have one orbital which has two electrons like this. They'll try to repel each other the way the balloon repels each other. And they get the shape, for example, in this case, right? So you'll have two electrons each, and they try to repel each other, and thus it gets this kind of shape. If this is clear, we can explain this in more detail, but just understand that it'll either get the linear geometry, or trigonal planar, or tetrahedral, or trigonal bipyramid, or octahedral, based on the number of balloons. Right? So in this case, my generally the angle will be 180 degree. In this case, it will be 120 degree. In tetrahedral, my angle is 109.5. In trinal bipyramid, these angles are my 90 degree. And in octahedral, and these angles are 120, these angles. And in these octahedral, everything is 90 degree. All the angles are 90 degree. So let's, let's understand this. For example, I have two balloons, these are my two balloons, they are two balloons and they repel each other. Similarly, if I have a atom here and this atom is linked to two another atom and they repel each other. For example, let's suppose I have beryllium here and I have two chlorine molecules here, two chlorine atoms here. Okay, so beryllium has two electrons in the outermost shell and these two electrons are used by uh, these chlorines. So, they will form a bond and I will get something like this. So in this beryllium, if you see, they, they, there is an attraction from the, the repulsion from this chlorine and this chlorine. Both will want to be away from each other. Correct? this chlorine and this chlorine would like to be away from each other and they'll try to 
squeeze. They try to pull each other. For example, this chlorine will try to get away from this. Both both this will ripple. And since it is similar to two balloons, you have two balloons. It will be a linear structure, right? And thus you'll get a linear structure. Correct. So if I have three, if I have three molecules like this, then they will again try to repel each other. For example, in this case, if you see, all these three are, I mean, I just put the balloons here, all these three will repel each other. Correct? For example, I have this is boron and I have this three chlorine molecules here. So, boron has only three uh, valence electron and each of these is used here. Right? Only three valence electron to draw the Levy structure. So all these chlorine will repel each other. They'll pull. Thus, it will get this kind of shape. This was a linear shape and this was the trigonal planar shape it will get. Correct. If it is something like this, so let's suppose this is methane, for example. I have this carbon here and four hydrogen atoms here. So all these four hydrogen atoms will repel each other, will, be, will try to be away from each other and then they will form this kind of shape and this shape will be tetrahedral shape. This angle will be 109.5 degree. Here the angle will be 120 degree. Similar to the balloon example, right, they will try to ripple and they will get this kind of shape and this shape is called tetrahedral. This is called trigonal planar. This is called linear. Right? Similarly, if you have something like this, so if you have five balloons, right? Now all these five balloons will try to uh, pull each other. They'll try to. Uh, they'll be distraction. There'll be repulsion among this, and they'll try to go further away from each other, and then they'll form this kind of shape, and this kind of shape is called. Trigonal by pyramid. By pyramid. And in this case, if you see my these angles will be similar to these angles, they'll be 120 degree, but it will be three di three dimensional. This will be 90 degree. And this is also three dimensional. Right? If I have six repulsion thing. So all these six balloons will ripple each other, right? And they'll form something called octahedron. Here each angle will be 90 degree. You take any angle, each angle will be 90 degree. So there are different kind of shapes possible, and generally we'll talk about variations of these shapes itself, right? But these are the basic shapes for valence cell electron pair repulsion theory. So you have valence shell electron pair and they repel. So it's valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. So it says that if they are like this, they are uh, two atoms, they repel each other and they are only two atoms attached to central atom, it will get a linear shape. If they are three, I think there is no uh, lone pair attached here. So it will get a trinomial planar. If it is four, it will get tetrahedral, five trigonal bipyramidal and it's five. Sorry, six, it is octahedral. Right? So that's what we have seen till now. For example, uh, we have seen BCL2 will get a linear shape. BF3 will get a trigonal player because it has three. Tetrahedron will be example is uh, CH4. You see the methane example, right? There is no uh, extra electron in the carbon, right? And there are only four dash and they'll try to pull each other. Same for uh, uh, phosphorus. Pentachloride, it will be trigonal bipyramid. Correct. So, the Vesper theory predicts that, or postulates that, the shape of molecule depends on the number of valence shell electron pairs around central atom. So, we are concerned only about the valence shell electron pair of central atom. Correct. It says that pairs of electrons in the valence shell 
repel one another because if you see the electron the, the valence shell they are all negative charge the electron is nothing but the electron clouds are nothing but negative charge so negative charge negative charge will repel basic um, thing which you have learned in physics right to, uh, to equal charge repel so here also you have two negative charge cloud and then try to repel each other and they tend to occupy position such way they minimize repulsion so they minimize repulsion and maximize distance between them and thus by reducing their energy here also if you see energy is like a stress and they want to reduce stress and they can do this by I don't know, getting such a position so that the repulsion is minimum and the uh, distance is maximum right and uh, in this case the valence shell is taken in the sphere because this is what the theory says according to this theory is assume that if you want to find the exact shape the theory says that you have to assume this thing it says that the valence shell is a sphere with electron pairs localizing on the sphere a maximum distance from one another right in linear structure we had issues with the resonance but here the vesper theory works for all the structures and please note here in this uh, uh, the key concept here is we have something called lone pair and we have something called bond pair we will explain what lone pair and bond pair is just understand the interaction is the interaction is highest for lone pair lone pair and the next interaction is lone pair bond pair and the least interaction is bond pair bond pair so if there are two lone pairs they will repel more and we will we'll discuss why so thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more Thanks once again.